get into. In this one, this one, I ain't gonna lie. When I first, when I first saw it, okay, when I first saw it, this happened about a month ago, right? I first saw it paid no mind. I paid it no mind. Brittany Griner raises eyebrows after implying her newborn son will call her pops, not mom. Excuse me. That was the first thing I said. But I said, okay. Okay. Not going to tell nobody how to raise their child. Not here to do that. Not here to do that. Okay. What I am here to question. What I am here to question today is why is it okay to confuse children in 2024? We're going to take it off of the other subject, right? Real quick. Why is it okay for us to confuse children in 2024? What's making me ask that is when I first heard about this, I, like I said, paid it no mind because I never heard Brittany Griner speak. Then when I heard her speak. Probably one other job that you're about to get into that is really hard and really scary. You're about to be a mom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> How is that feeling? Pops. 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 Oh, let me get pops. it together. Pops. About to yeah. be a pops. pops. Please tell me how exciting that is for you and what you're looking forward to most. I'm super excited. Um, well, I mean, I guess I'll just drop it. He's here. Um, so he's here. Yes. Seven, eight, 24. Um, yeah. Seven pounds, eight ounces. Yeah. That's my man. Um, I love that. He, he is amazing. Uh, they say, you know, as soon as you see him, it's just like everything that you thought mattered just goes out the window. Mm -hmm. And that's literally what happens. Um, now, as I said, when I first heard of this, I first heard of this, paid it no mind, I said, all right, everybody in the uproar, now that shit didn't circle right back around my timeline. Everybody asked some questions about it. Now, here is my real question on this. I thought I was going to get canceled before. God damn it. Wait till this shit go up. Anywho. Thank you, Madman. God damn it. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. But damn it. <laughs> damn it. GMOT. GMOT. See, you, you asking the same question I would like to ask. <laughs> I, I would like to ask these same questions that y'all are saying. Is this... I don't think that's a woman. I, I'm just being honest here. I do not think Brittany Griner is. I, it don't look. Listen, it's a few things that stick out to me that point to other things. Okay. Now, I'm not the only person that thought about this. I ain't the only person. Black and white sports fans for many, many years. People have been speculating is Brittany Griner actually a female or a male? Now, Brittany Griner actually does play in the uh, WNBA, which is a women's basketball association, right? But when you actually listen to Brittany Griner, Brittany Griner's voice is very, very masculine, okay? Now, Brittany Griner is also a lesbian, and we found out um, probably about, what, three, four months ago that... um. Brittany Griner's uh, lover, Cheryl, a woman, actually got pregnant. And a lot of people had questions, man. How did this happen? We actually haven't heard anything about a, um, a surrogate or anything like that. The announcement was just uh, Brittany Griner and Cheryl are expecting. Now, we all know, guys, that two women cannot conceive a child. I mean, that's just a biological fact. But. 
with Brittany Griner in the midst, people are actually speculating, hey, this probably really could have happened because a lot of people believe that Brittany Griner is not a female. A lot of people believe that Brittany Griner is the first uh, male to play in the WNBA. Now, when you actually see uh, Brittany Griner actually try to dunk, you're going to be like, oh, okay, Brittany Griner is a female. But still, we got questions, guys. Well, Cheryl Griner actually gave birth. And you you guys are going to be astonished, man. In this uh, little interview clip we're going to play, Brittany Griner pretty much has confirmed that she's a male, in my opinion. Because if you are a mother, you actually want to be called mom, mother, something like that. Okay, so pretty much he's playing the, the, the same clip that I was about to play with the her confirming that she's a pops, right? But there's other things that make me question. Like you getting defensive about government officials, or state officials talking about transgenders. Everyone deserves the right to play. Everyone deserves the right to to come here, sit in these seats and feel safe and not feel um, like there's a threat or they can't be who they are. Uh, definitely. You were defending the right for transgenders to play in the WNBA and other sports. Excuse me? We'll be speaking up against against those that legislation and those laws that are trying to be passed for sure the more i hear britney talk the more i question my own ears and brain now mind you britney is six nine she about eight inches over me all right it's a big one. So it's very possible that the voice could be deep. But not that goddamn deep. Hell, Lisa Leslie don't sound that damn deep. And Lisa Leslie damn near seven feet. Lisa Leslie don't sound like that. Lisa Leslie don't look like that. This is my question. Now, furthermore, furthermore, this is what really act baby in questions. That is a boy. Ain't no goddamn way. I'm just going to say it. Guess me if you won't. That's a boy. That is no woman. Look at this. Nothing about this is the only feminine shot you could think of no way it's no way it's no way thank you joanna man this this is joanna man they they try to tell us something they try to tell us with Joanna man that there is something going on. But there is no type of chest. I have more titties than her. What what is going on here? Look at this. What what, what is going on here? What are we talking about here? I have more man boobs than her. What, 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 what is going on? Why is this even a question? I'm just saying. At this point. And 
let me just say, I don't know for sure. I just have questions. Like everybody else, I have questions. This was one of them. Like I said, it wasn't until, it was not until this shit came back around my timeline that I started asking things. You say you, you see for yourself. You make your own decisions. Make your own to draw your own conclusions from this. But damn it. I do not think that is a woman in the WNBA. It, it cannot be. Thank you. See, I, I ain't even gonna go there. <laughs> I ain't gonna get it with Caitlin. Let let time tell on that one. <laughs> okay. Let let time tell on that one. See, I got sent the video earlier. Shout out to the homie DJ Bid. Okay. Shout out to the homie DJ Bid. Got sent the video earlier about the queens, uh, the, the European uh, uh, queen. In fact, let's look at that. I might play that. Matter of fact, give me one second here. Because this was very interesting, actually. This was actually pretty damn interesting. I'm going to pull this up real quick. So, the royal family actually, and I mean actually, used to have. I don't know if they still do, but you can pretty much tell that there were some people in the royal family and hell, there are some celebrities out there even that you question and say to yourself, you know what? Even though they didn't say that they were, you can tell it's some shit that's off. Okay. You can tell it's some shit that's just off. Families of Europe are full of, uh, you know, trannies, trans, trans yeah. people. Uh, yeah. They are actually comical. I mean, isn't that? But, but it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, the royal families of Europe are full of, uh, you know, trannies, trans, trans yeah. people, uh, transsexual. Yeah. I mean, that's and kind of mind blowing, right? Really, it is. Now, you could imagine that would have been feasible in the old days before. Uh, the use of photographs and video and all of that where the people wouldn't get to see them very often and when they did they wouldn't get much chance to study them yeah yeah and when the camera became available and video and film footage became uh, available we had a brief window where we could see them in the raw if you like but in the last 20, 30, 40 years, they appear to have greatly improved the quality so that they're much more convincing transgenders now. Yeah. And of course, they carry out more surgery on them now. I would yeah. recommend, if you're interested, to go out and check some of the junior members of the British royal family. Oh, yeah. I, I have to. around five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> they are just like little boys, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But by, by the time they're 13, 14, 15, between the chemicals and the hormones, the surgery and so on, they will be more uh, convincing females than they are. Dog, I'm just saying, the shit been going on for ages. Been going on for ages. We just haven't noticed. And I think that was one that slipped through the cracks. Pause. This one, and just in particular, slipped through the cracks. Because over time, started to look like a woman. Over time, started to look like a woman. But deep down in that voice, ain't nothing change. Nothing change but the address. <laughs>